babies and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to review the new Backstage Beauty brushes. So this set of brushes is called the Essential Brush Set and because it's like life and it's like you need everything. They are retail for £70 here in the UK but Backstage Beauty does ship worthwhile so even for you people in the US you can definitely get your hands on those. They are vegan and cruelty free. And quick disclaimer, this has been sent to me, but it's not a sponsor video, so I'm not getting paid, I'm not getting money, I'm not getting coins. So I'm just doing this for you, and I actually just want to try them out and see if they're good. So what I like about these brushes is not only the design, but actually the fact they're really affordable. They are going between £7 to the maximum of £12 each, and it's absolutely amazing. And other things that I like about the Essential Brush Collection is that um, they are being designed for work for everyday makeup application and the brush are made by synthetic and cruelty free materials. They are also being sculpted and taped for the ultimate makeup application. So let's get this face beat and the first things I'm going to use is my new bay and this one is a Simply Argan Argan Oil Moisturizer. I actually really really enjoy this and what it does it really keeps your skin extremely moisturized i love the smell of argan oil and this one is absolutely the best argan that i have ever found so there's always a plus so you're gonna moisturize this into your skin so the first brush i'm gonna use is actually the foundation buffer and i'm gonna use my dream satin by maybelline i'm gonna take just a little bit and when i say a little bit i mean a lot of it because I like my heavy foundation, so I'm going to do a couple of pumps and getting this one started, so let's do this. So I definitely have to say that this brush is blending my foundation so quickly and so even that I'm blown away, like my skin looks so nice already, so that's always a plus and I have to say it doesn't really set up any product inside it kind of really move it really quickly and it just works well so let's carry on so the foundation went on like a dream and now I'm gonna use the actual concealer one I normally use uh, my beauty blender you guys know I love my beauty but I'm gonna try this concealer brush because it's not gonna change my life and I don't have to like invest in a beauty blender every other few months Overall this brush is actually really nice and I like the way it blended, it kind of really smooths down. The only issues that I have is that I'm a beauty blender user and I like sponges for my concealer. But overall this one did a really nice job with a little bit more time. So if you have time to spare in the morning, you can use this. So now I'm going to use the brush I was really really excited about and it's the angle powder one so I'm really into it. And I'm going to use the Pro Bronze Fusion by Makeup Forever and this one I believe is in the color 20M but I'm not 100% sure so I think we should just go into it. So I'm going to take just lightly a little bit and kind of chisel in my cheekbones. So this brush here is life. I was like giving a little bit of like high hopes to it. I love it. Like this one is extremely precise. Gives you like that really nice cut check. It's also really soft and apply just enough product so it doesn't really pick up too much on it. I love it. Like this brush is bae. Oh my God. So now we're going to use the contouring brush called brush and I'm going to use this Laura Galler highlighter and this one is called charmingly pink and i'm really really excited you guys know i've been on like on obsession of a laura Gallery product so i was like let's just get one more highlighter and bam highlighter on flick i'm actually really really happy my skin looks amazing like if i do say so myself so now i'm gonna get you really close up and we're gonna start to use some of the eye brushes and see what's good and what's not good so i'm gonna start using this large eye blender i like the fact that they put in the set two different eyeshadow blender one is smaller one is slightly bigger so i do like the fact that you have choices and choices are always good so i'm gonna use the kiko eyeshadow in number 20 and i'm gonna just go this one over my crease just like smoking up a little bit So 
So I can definitely say that um, these brushes don't pick up too much product and I even experienced this one with the eyeshadow. Sometimes it does happen that like when you actually go into it, there is too much fallout and then it's like you feel like you got so much product. This one, you might need to dip in a couple of times, but it's better. I personally find this much better. On the same time, if this brush here blends really beautifully, so I'm gonna keep on blending and move on to the next brush. So I'm not gonna use this brush also to do the underneath for my eyes. I find it because there is not much kick out of product, I can use a larger one. So let's just experience that. Next I'll be using the smaller eye blender on a Kiko 133 eyeshadow and I'm gonna try to get some definition on my crease. Next I'll be using the shadow shader and this other Kiko brush in the number 30 and I'm gonna be pressing on this nice green onto my eyelid. And again, I'm gonna add a little bit underneath of my eye. Next, I'll be using my waterproof Laura Gale black pencil, and I'm gonna use the actual dual sided brush. This one is meant for eyebrows, but because I always use my normal pencil for brows, I couldn't really do anything with this. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna smoke even more using this brush over here and see how it works, how it performs, how does it do it. This brush over here is amazing for really precise work, so I'm really happy I chose this one to just smoke down my waterline, and I'm really, really happy. Lastly, I'm gonna put some glitter on, and I'm gonna use this precise small brush. This is actually one of my favorite, because I like small precise in brushes. And I'm gonna use this eyeshadow by MAC. This is a Dazzle shadow, so it kinda like acts like a glitter. So I'm gonna take just a little bit, It's now time for lashes and mascara, and I'm gonna use the Laura Gala Glam Lash Mascara and the Backstage Glamorous Avenue Lashes. I'm really excited, so let's just put them on and yes. So eyes are done, now we're gonna move into the lip and I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever combo that one of my friends actually told me that was amazing, so it's the first time I'm using them. And this one is the lip liner in 7C, and this one is the Aqua Rouge in the color 14, so let's just get the lip on point. And here we have it guys, the look is complete. I'm actually really feeling it and I can't wait to go out with Bay. It's gonna take me out dinner, so I'm really happy. Anyway guys, this brush set is really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. I love the foundation brush because it made everything super quick. So it definitely cut down on time. And I love the powder brush. I was really looking for something amazing. And this one is probably like my star of every single brush I try. So I'm gonna directly put this on my makeup bag because I love it. And the two eye blender, they were really, really good. I'm really happy to the fact that you can actually have two of different shapes. So one a little bit bigger, the other one a bit smaller. Really helps creating really soft, smoky eyes. So thumbs up, these four brushes are absolutely bay. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So if you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and stay subscribed because there is always more to come. But always remember, like if you like, hate if you hate, and until next time, you're welcome.